Wintertime is sailfish time in Palm Beach, Florida, as these magnificent game fish migrate into the area for the season. There he is, sailfish on. You're nuts. Right here, right here, right here, right here. No, he's coming in the boat. <laughs> One right here. The right, oh, look at him behind the boat, baby. old man. Oh, it's unbelievable. Hello, that was a sail. Definite sail bite. Oh, yeah. Look at mine, there he goes. There you go. If you ever see anything like that, that's once in a lifetime stuff right there. How cool is that? We're on a fish. Whoa! Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks. Chasing sails off Palm Beach is one of my favorite things to do. My old friend Captain Greg Bogdan charter fishes out of the famous Sailfish Marina in Palm Beach Shores, and there's no better base of operations in that part of the world. Greg has guided me to many great days of sail fishing in the past, so I naturally jumped at the chance to spend some more time offshore with him in the hopes of raising a sailfish or two. Greg, we certainly don't have what you would call classic Palm Beach sailfish conditions today. Yeah. It's flat, calm, and beautiful. No wind, no waves. Uh, think they'll snap anyway? I do. I think there's a really good group of fish that sit in the south here. We've had some very cold weather over the past couple of nights, and I think we're going to have some fish that are just hanging out right where we're going. And maybe they don't know what conditions are supposed to be like, and we'll catch them anyway. Yeah. Let's Absolutely. go give it a shot. The Gulf Stream comes very close to shore off Palm Beach, so it's typically only a short run out of the Lake Worth Inlet to where the fish are. Greg, this is kind of a specialized technique, uh, flying a helium balloon to make your kite fly when there's no wind. Absolutely. We have basically zero wind today, so I got to fish a huge balloon to try and get the kite up. I'm sure we'll get a little bit wind as the day progresses, but right now, uh, not much to it. Not much to it at all. You got it? Got it. We're all set. We'll fly a kite, man. Yeah, look at that. Success. We have rotation. Woo! Nibble, getting a nibble. He's going with it. What are you? Let's find out. There he is, sailing fish. Sailfish. Sailfish. He does not want what I'm selling. Flat, calm day, and you put us on a fish, brother. I never doubted you for a minute. All right, yep, yeah, nice sail. Yeah, there's See a See if there's guy. another one there. Yeah, we need a double. The fish at this time of the year have really been grouping up. We've had some cold weather every morning, so there's a lot of times you'll hook one, and you know, within a minute you'll have a couple more on. So we'll see if there's another one with them. And a lot of times they'll travel with a hooked fish, so pull them right back up toward these other baits. And as they're swimming by, they might say, hey, look. Yeah, he's getting a little closer. And he's putting some pressure on me, though. They lay out there on their side with that big sail up, you know, it's like pulling a bucket through the water. He's very close. Oh, he's, right oh, he's right here. Right there. Little guy. Ah, oh, there you go. He's right here. Look at him. Little bitty guy. I love him. Some days when it's really calm like this, JB, you really got to go with some lighter leader. And that 30-pound fluorocarbon is really pretty abrasion resistant. You know, I'm never really nervous about breaking them off. You just lighten the drag up a little bit. Pretty little fish, Greg. Nice little guy. That's the ones you want to catch in a tournament. Instead of a 70-pounder that kicks your butt for a half hour, that's the perfect fish. Yeah, they're great. You ready to go? Yep. I'll bring you the leader. Man, he's small. I'm gonna get this guy unwrapped. He's got about, wrapped around the pack. He's got about four loops around him. Is that all right? Maybe not. With these little ones, you really got to be careful with their bill because it's still growing and it can be very, very soft. All right, we're going to get him going. See you, buddy. Awesome, dude. The little ones also, I think, jump a lot more sometimes because when he bit, man, he went crazy out there. Yeah. 
So a lot of those will get wrapped up, but you gotta be really careful. If you go to grab one of their bills, the bill is just maturing and it's very, very soft. A lot of times the little ones, you can snap the bill right you off. You gotta come up by the base yeah. of the bill and grab it. I like to grab the bottom jaw yeah. and the bill together right. and not just hold on to the bill. And then you grab get it out by the end of the bill, it's more liable to break. If it's questionable at all, we just cut the leader and the hook rusts right. out you know, very quickly. Awesome time. Coming up next. Sales are free jumping right there. It's definitely a couple of fish. There he is. There he is. Oh, look right here, right here, right here, right here. That's not me. You're on. No, he's coming in the boat. <laughs> Sport fishing television powered by Ram Trucks is brought to you by Ram Trucks. Get more facts at ramtrucks.com. Guts, glory, Ram. By Yellowfin, your legacy. By Simrad, go with confidence. And by Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks. Conventional wisdom says that sailfish bite better in rough seas, but that didn't prove to be true during our trip. We had great weather with 72 degree air temperatures and 72 degree water with clear skies and light winds thanks to a steady barometer. The lack of wind made us use the helium balloons to keep our kites in the air, but that proved to be effective as the sailfish were both thick and hungry. Sails are free jumping right there. I Definitely a couple of fish. He's still jumping. Keep your eye on where the fish are. I got him. He's still jumping. Okay, pull right in there. Are you in? Go for it. Hang on. There he is. Well, right in there in front of him. Right here. Right to him. Go a little bit left. And then you're just gonna go same track as them, so turn all the way to the right. Slow down, hit the brakes. That should be landing right about on his nose. Oh, we're on, man. Good job, JB. Hey, buddy. Come on, man. Oh, look right here, right here, right here, right here. That's not me. Could be me. You're on, we're dude. We're going to throw you're a couple on. keepers out. No, he's coming in the boat. How cool is this? Am I over you or under? Over you. <laughs> <laughs> no, JB, I'm over you. I'm over oh, you. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. Oh, that was cool. Look at mine. There he goes. There you go. There's one right here. There's two. All right, I'll get him. Hold on, JB. Oh, man. Uh, it's unbelievable. He's right heads here. Up, heads up, heads up. Go, 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 go. He's right there in the water, right to the right. He's chasing your freebies. That was cool, man. Look at him go. Look at mine go. He's going nuts. My bait's trying to get underneath the boat here. I bet he is. <laughs> he doesn't like what's out there. That was a pot of fish. When you see two free jumping, there's at least 10 other fish there. Well, and they, they free jump for a long time. A lot of time they don't go that long. This time of the year, they're all moving through in big packs. Man, I am way out there. See him jumping? <laughs> he looks like a ballyhoo. <laughs> He's coming. I'm getting a little bit now. It's the first time I've gotten any cranks on him. I mean, he's been steady pulling away, but he's coming back a little bit now. I'm actually getting pretty close over here. My angle's still good? Is yeah, you're right? great, you're great. It's right here, man. We got double line, we got leader, the big fish. Look how lit up he is, man. He's gorgeous. There he is. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. Here we can get a, get a fin up on him. There we yeah. go. He don't want to cooperate. He's still green. He's still fired up. Look how good nice he looks. Nice and healthy. Look how good, good time he looks. to let him go. Yeah, let's do it. All right, buddy. Thanks, Thanks for the show. Thanks for the show. Got him off already. It was only 30 Woo! pound liter. Yeah, buddy. Nice work. That was awesome. Just as I was about to grab yours, we had another one on one of the other rods that came up jumping. How cool is that? We stopped on a pot of fish, no doubt about it. Yeah, this one took a good run, too. Visual, JB, about 30 feet. Ready when you are. Looks like he got wrapped around the peck when he was jumping. He's just. That's all right, we'll get him. Not laying on his side, he's just kind of swimming. We'll get him. Is that your double line? 
Yeah, the leader just came out of the water. He's right here. Okay. You can see him. Greg, I'm going to get this kite out of your way. OK, yeah, just slide to the back there a little bit. There's my leader. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's wrapped under the left peck fin. Yeah, I see him. All right, I'm in neutral. Coming fast. Let's go around. I'm going to move this back to the bow now. Oop. Popped off. No! It's all right. We had him. Pull the hook. Shoot. Wrapped under the peck. Pull the hook. It's all right. Just pull the hook. It's all right. Swam away without a hook. Sometimes they get away. They, well, that's good. We don't want to mess with him. He was fighting pretty hard, so yeah, yeah. he swam away healthy. That was pretty cool, though. We got the release. It's an official release. But we didn't get to grab him. That's all right. It's OK. Let's go catch another one. Let's do. Off Palm Beach, we used Penn International Spinfisher V and Conflict reels mounted on Penn Regiment, Blue Water Carnage, and Battalion rods. The reels were spooled with Lemoy High Catch monofilament, and we used Diamond Fishing Products fluorocarbon leaders. Coming up next. He's going crazy out there. Coming up. Those were some good jumps with his sail up. Windshield wiper. Oh, man. We got lit up here. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks, is being brought to you by Penn. Let the battle begin. By King Sailfish Mounts, for that once in a lifetime catch. And by Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Driven to Fish, powered by Ram Trucks. Ram's 2500 Bighorn model comes with an impressive maximum towing capacity of 17,440 pounds and a maximum payload of 3,510 pounds. You can order the Bighorn in crew or mega cab configurations, and it comes standard with a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 engine, an anti-spin rear differential, a 115 volt auxiliary power outlet, and fog lamps. The optional 6.4 liter Hemi V8 delivers 410 horsepower and 429 pound-feet of torque, best in class for a gas engine. A standard 18,000 pound class five trailer hitch tows even the largest boats and an optional 8.4 inch Uconnect touchscreen comes with built-in navigation. Plus, the optional 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel engine generates up to an incredible 800 pound-feet of torque for maximum towing power. The electronic range select, an electric trailer brake controller, and a tow haul mode maximize trailer towing power and efficiency. You know, this chirp technology is amazing, Greg, because they slew the frequencies, meaning that the frequencies go back and forth from low to high to the optimum beam length. And it's just amazing how much better you can mark things than you did with conventional transducer technology in the old days. Look at that, man. That's yeah, an that's incredible awesome. mark. Uh-oh. Oh, there you go, there man. You go. Bite. The bite. Right flat. Got him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sailfish. Nice. Sailfish yeah. on. Look at him go. That good jumper cool. there. That's a nice one. That's a good one, man. I love catching him on this light tackle. Coming oh, back much towards drag on you. He's got nah, he's running towards parallel right now. Yeah. on the surface. Yeah, he's running off to the side there. Oh, man, what is that? Thumbs on him. Look Looks at like that. Looks like a shark. Big shark. Big, Big shark. shark. Oh, Looks man. Looks like a bull shark. There's two of them. Oh, my god. He's eating our sailfish. They got him. I think oh, they got no. him. Yeah, they, they got, got him. him. Oh. Oh. He's gone. He's oh, gone. Oh, man. They ate the whole thing. Oh. That was incredible. Dude. Incredible. Two of them Have just smashed into pieces. Have you ever seen like that? That was <laughs> unbelievable. That's that, once in a lifetime stuff right there. That was incredible. Oh. Definitely a lot more sharks around lately. Bit yeah. right through the leader, but my they had is, My heart is pumping like a thousand <laughs> miles an hour. That was incredible. You know, as brutal as that was, that was very cool, man. That was very cool. Absolutely incredible. That was good stuff. That's something you don't see every day right there, pal. I'll tell you, his day went from having a bad day with a hook in his mouth to having a really bad day. <laughs> The conservation benefits of using circle hooks are well documented, but there's an additional reason why they should be your hook of choice. They simply work better. By definition, a circle hook is merely a fishing hook designed so that the point is turned perpendicular to the shank to form a circular shape. 
The primary benefit of a circle hook stems from the design's resistance to gut hooking a fish that has swallowed it. Because the point turns inward, it passes back out of the fish's gut as pressure is applied and lodges in the mouth. Many studies have confirmed the efficacy of circle hooks in reducing deep hooking, a leading cause of release mortality. But while circle hooks undoubtedly do less damage to the fish, they also offer a higher hookup ratio as well, providing conservation-minded anglers with the proverbial win-win situation. If you haven't yet, give circle hooks a try. This Conservation Minute has been brought to you by Penn. Let the battle begin. Fishing with kites can be very effective because it lets you keep most of your terminal tackle out of the water. The common bait fish known as the goggle eye is the usual bait of choice, and you fish the baits near the surface with your fishing line suspended from clips on the kite line. Whoa! There he is, sailfish on, off the kite. Way out there. All right, we fired a chase them, huh? Yeah, we can back up on that one. Yeah, he's going crazy out there. Yeah, he ate the long bait, and then he went south after that, so he's pretty good ways out. Come left. Coming up. Those were some good jumps with his sail up all the way. There he there goes. Is. Nice. Windshield wiper. Oh, man. How cool is that? That's beautiful. Look how lit up he is. That's what it's all about right there, buddy boy. Absolutely. Here comes the leader. OK. All lit up. Look at that sail now. Wow. All right, you ready to grab him? Let's see if he's going to cooperate. Yeah. Bring your rod tip back to him. He doesn't want to go backwards. He does not, does he? No. Is that 30 or 40 pounds? 40. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good yeah. fish. That was a good fighter. Yeah, he was. Nice job, Captain Greg. Look at that. It's a good one. All right, buddy. See you later. How about that? Thanks for the fight. Nice good work. Good job, buddy. Hasta la vista. Coming up. Hello. That was a sale. Yeah. Light me up. Look at him go. Look at him there go. He is. He's making you work for it. I know. And look at one on mine. Follow oh, it right you're there. On, you're on, right you're there. On. Just ate it right here. How cool is that? Sport fishing television powered by Ram Trucks has been brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. By Yeti Coolers, built for the wild by FloridaFishingLicenseCampaign.com. Always say, I do. And by Ram Trucks. Get more facts at RamTrucks.com. Guts, glory, Ram. We made a little move south of the Lake Worth Inlet here. Wind's up, we got a kite up. Looks pretty good. What's the plan? Yeah, it looks real good. They've been catching some sails down here to the south of the inlet. The reef off the breakers here gets very, very tight to the beach, so a lot of the fish funnel through here when we get some cooler weather like this. And uh, we'll see what we can catch today. Hello, that was a sail. Definite sail bite. Oh, yeah. Light me up. Barely enough wind to keep this kite up, so just try and get some line back and I'll regroup with the kite here. Sounds good. Woo, there he goes. Look at him go, look at him there go. There he is. It's a good one. He's jumping all over the place out there. Yep. Try and get a little more line back here. We're doing pretty good now. Yeah, sometimes, John, when it's calm like this, you know, that lighter line with the 30-pound leader gets bit. Sometimes the flat lines swim a little bit deeper, too. Some of these days, it's flat calm. A lot of times, you get the fish down a little bit deeper. They go deep on 12-pound, man. You just got to wait them out. Not really going to horse them on 12-pound, but sometimes they will come up jumping. They're coming up now, I made a little move towards the top. Boop, there you just stopped. I'm going to pitch a bait over near your fish there and see if he's got anybody following him. OK. 
There he is. There's oh, look at the other one on mine. Look at one on mine. Follow oh, right there. Oh, you're on, you're on, right you're there. on. Just ain't it, right here. How cool is that? He's coming towards yours. Up, oh, pull the bait off. Come on, really? Nope, just dropped it. Oh, man, that was awesome. Right there, he was following yours. 30 feet from the boat. Yep. Oh, oh. Leader. Right here, Captain Greg. That's a good size one, you know, on 12 pound. That, Big that guy put up a great fight, jumping all over the place. That's awesome. Big good fish. job. Good boat driving. I'll send him on his way. What do you think? Yes, sir. Bring him right up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see all action going on. He's good. He is good. Beauty. Beautiful fish. All right, here he goes. See you, pal. There he goes. There he nice goes. job. Swimming away good. Ooh, nice man. job, buddy. Thanks for putting me on him. Good catch on 12 pound there. Well, Greg, it was an awesome day out there, man. We caught a lot of fish. The weather was fantastic. I want to thank you for a super experience. Absolutely. Always a good time fishing with you. And we'll do it again real soon, I hope. And folks, if you're coming to the Palm Beach area, you got to look up this guy right here, Captain Greg Bogdan at Sailfish Marina. What's your website? PermittedCharters.com. PermittedCharters.com. For Sport Fishing Television, I'm John Brownlee. Thanks a lot. Accommodations in Palm Beach were provided by Sailfish Marina. To learn more about Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks, visit our website at sportfishingtelevision.com. And be sure to visit us at facebook.com slash sportfishing. Join us next time as Captain Mark Lieberman shows us some awesome fishing in Charlotte Harbor out of Boca Grande, Florida. Oh, there he is. There he is, man. <laughs> -hoo -hoo. That's the real thing That's right there. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. That's a big, big fish.